Hey Pisces, welcome to your reading. For those of you that are new, I'm excited to have you here. Uh, for those of you returning, thank you. Some of what you see, because I am intuitive, may not ring as traditional. Take what resonates, leave the rest behind. Okay, roles can be reversed as time is fluid. This may not be for July. Okay, as well, you may find that one of the other placements rings truer. If you'd like a personal reading, that link is down below. You can find out more about that and my other services over at mindsetunicorn.me or down below. And let's get going on this, okay? So, spiritually, you're transforming from this aspect of being alone, of being silent, of being, getting the cold shoulder. Like, you are going through a transformation, which means that you're doing this alone, but I think it's to get you out of being alone. It might mean that you have to almost like cross something very scary to get there, okay? So let's see what's going on for you, Pisces. Right, thank you. Emperor, temptation, and the tower. Wow. This next full moon could bring a shocking surprise temptation financially. Um, are you going to pick that or pick from your heart? It is a new start here. The full and the ace of earth on the bottom. It could likely be that you, again, it's almost like this could be coming also because they're showing me that you could have a heart of gold, right? Like you've given to so many that this is like giving back to you. And it's almost like you don't know how to accept that, but it's what you've asked for. It's what you've called in for yourself. Okay, this energy that you've called in, Five of Earth, Page of Cups, and the Seven of Cups. And you have felt, again, so alone for so long that when this little gift is given to you, accepting it, being able to receive it, opens up so much else, but you also almost feel like there's too many eyes on you to be able to deal with this. And you feel almost like, like you want to run and hide, okay? Tell me about the temptation here, thank you. Page of Wands. You may have said something to someone and not expected this to come in. King of Swords and the Ten of Pentacles. But whoever's coming forward with this, right, they, again, know you're so deserving of this. And they have more than enough to give to you. So why wouldn't they give to you, right? Five of Wands here on the bottom. Um, you're afraid, again, of something that doesn't even exist. So this fear stems from your past and it's an unhealed wound that is coming forward with this surprise of somebody reaching out to help you. Okay, the tower, the Hierophant, the four of pentacles, and the three of wands, okay? Again, for some of you, this could be a will. Somebody's passed and left you money. This could be um, a promotion at work that you didn't even know was in the works. Um, but it's because of all of your hard work. And you're very surprised by this because you don't think that anybody really pays attention to what you're doing. Right? You just kind of feel like you fade into the background a lot. Five of Earth, Justice, the Knight of Wands, and 
and the Knight of Pentacles. Again, very slow coming. And yet it also shows you that eventually you'll have your head above water. Eventually you'll see the light of day. It's You're working here through something that you never thought you'd have the ability for. It again does come. There's the five and the five. The five of cups. The five of wands. From this inner child sort of a place where... It's very shocking for you. Page of water. Six of pentacles. The six of cups. And the three of swords. This comes with good things and bad things. Again, somebody sees your purity of heart. Somebody sees you as being their soul tribe. Again, this could be somebody that's passed, that's left you something. Um, but there is some sadness that comes with this. But things, I think, are moving so quickly that you're not going to really have a moment to, to work on that sadness until you do. But it's not quite yet, okay? This is part of a season and it's reflecting on you quite a lot because things just happen and you've struggled through, right? You've kind of, again, given up. Again, I feel like you're being shown that all of this is about bringing you through a rebirth, but it may be a process of getting there. This is a reflection, though, of who you are and who your heart space is. You've been very guarded about um, trying not to let people see you, which is why you think you fade into the background. But this shows you that you actually are being seen, wisdom, and for how much how much of you is reflected in the knowledge that you have that you're, you give to everyone with love, right? For some of you, this is a father figure coming in when you are going through a storm. For others of you, this could be something that um, you just, you actually get from your father, okay? Thank you. You do not see this coming again. You are blind, but it is divine timing. And there's the duality. Everyone's getting that because we've got the upcoming 8-8 eight, eight portal, right? So we're as we're in July, we do have some of that pre-shadow energy. And again, this is the duality of time and, and opening up to new, endings and beginnings. You've been... Allowing yourself to not bond to anything, but this is going to change. This is blossoming things for you to help you rise up and um, really see a new day. And it's coming through some very important spiritual guidance, okay, spiritual guides but have seen all that you've been giving to others. Again, there you are. You are aligned within yourself and you are reflecting that, which is why things are coming to a completion and new beginnings are coming forward, okay? The next three months could be really important. Um, as you go through the completion of this, it feels like a huge slow, painful energy till this birth, but could in could have some uh, nesting properties to it. Perpetual came out in reverse. So again, it is an end of a contract. No more worrying about that. And then again, there's that winter energy where this you're going to need some time, I feel like, to process through this 
or for some of you who are going into winter and this is going to be really when you kind of refresh all of those emotions underlying gemini dustin meeting you could have a dustin meeting dustin lover coming forward that is kind of unexpected for you Again, this could lead to an engagement, but as well, what you can be working on here is that you're ready to cooperate with the give and receive of energy. Um, I'm ready to share my energetic being with the story I've created. This is something that has felt postponed for a while, and I do think that that is why it's coming up right now. Yeah, again, the full moon is going to be a really powerful one this time. Um, it could align to your ascendant, but it is trying to help you rise up out of whatever struggles you've had. Fourth house, again, that is definitely bringing through the Cancerian energy, which is home. And so there is an aspect of you're approaching the end of one home, so to speak, or just being so much inward that you don't speak to others. Lilith, um, this brings out kind of your badass. All right, if we're going to be honest, it's a part of you that you hid from everyone. And again, there's the sun, Leo energy, and there's fifth house. Uh, so Leo season is going to be really important for you, okay? For those of you, no, okay, Spirit says we're not going to go there yet. We're going to go here. Let's see what else. Thank you. Tenth house, the world, something is ending here, okay? It is an end of a karmic relationship that brings you to your north node. This could be your Pluto return that you're dealing with. It's a huge transformation. You may be seeing 1111 a lot or 711 a lot. Again, leaving behind the past. South node in reverse. This is, for some of you, this is money. It removes debts. It helps you to pay for things. It's really an important aspect here for you. Okay, yeah. Deaths, ending and beginning, Scorpio energy. Cannot say it enough. This is a challenging time for you, but it is an ending and beginning. Leo season is when you will see this really starting to come in. Neptune, um, that is you completing a cycle after all of this is because of all your sacrifices, right? And this is being able to work in the energy the way that others see you. Your friends see you very differently than how you see yourself. The 1111 is showing that up in your purpose, okay? So for those of you looking for some love messages, okay, let's see what comes out. Could we just go back to the beginning? Okay, I've never felt this way before. Sometimes in the beginning, we do have the butterflies. And as they die down, that can be hard to give up when you're chasing dopamine. Okay. Lately, I've been feeling down. So yeah, if somebody was chasing dopamine in the beginning, now they're not. Now they're seeking that rush. So be aware that they could be seeking addictions or other things to chase dopamine. Okay. Uh, you know I am not your past. So they're not giving up on you. Spirit says one more thank you before you feels like a lifetime away. So I do feel like this energy has been around for a while. Okay. Thank you. Two of Pentacles, the Magician, Five of Swords, and the Ace of Pentacles. Again, I do feel like you're juggling a lot. 
and you've manifested a lot and you don't want to screw things up. You, the only way to really screw things up here is to not deal with your heart space, to not deal with the sadness that you might have in return with this. But again, if this is money coming to you as an inheritance, not accepting it doesn't bring someone back, right? This may be what brings you to greener pastures so that you can find love if you're seeking love. <laughs> yeah, this is an ending, but it brings you, again, a new, a six of cups. It is going to bring you new growth new soul tribe energy, new love, okay? Friendship or otherwise. Again, five of pentacles and the hangman. Um, this may be hard to accept because if you've been caregiving for someone for a while, you may feel bad judgment here um, to be getting any benefit out of it. Or this is such a relief for you that it allows you to let go of the ways that maybe you've been sabotaging your relationship or relationships, okay? Um, and you start being able to dream again about where you want to go and the greener pastures ahead. So let's go ahead and close it off with an oracle. Yeah. This is teaching you something. And it's very important here in the middle. Again, there's the intuition and manifesting. You know that this is coming in divine timing when it's meant for you. And it brings underneath this Six of Cups energy that is a milestone for you that... Again, could be just friendship, but I feel like it's almost like an inner feeling when you get here that you can do anything now, okay? And that's a really beautiful feeling to have. So I hope this helps you. I hope you guys have a beautiful month. Um, if this did not resonate with you, uh, check your other placements as well. Do make sure that you click on the like button and the notification bell so that you know when other readings drop because even though I've titled this for Pisces, if something comes through that just pings you, watch it because there's probably a message in there for you. All right. So I love you guys. Have a wonderful month and I will see you soon. Okay. Bye.